First and foremost, how do I pronounce your last name? Luciani? Yep. Luciani. Amy Luciani is in the building. You got um, it right. First and foremost, let's set the right. Let's set the stage. Okay, let's do it. Let's set the stage. Let's do it. I got the extra long nails, but I'm gonna figure Let it out. Let me get it for you. I can, I'll get it for you. You will you? Yeah, I got you. Um, but you know we Gemini, so I'm determined and annoying right now oh, to do it myself. But you don't want to break your nails. You're still a lady though. So. I know, but look, look at that. Look at that. Okay. Bam, bam. Okay. Oh, first and foremost, happy belated birthday. Thank you. Happy belated to you. Gang, 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 gang. Gang, Gemini, gang. For sure, for sure. Uh, it's been a drunk, drunken week for me. <laughs> it's about to be one of them for me. Yeah, and I sobered up for this, though. Only to get drunk yeah. here. Yeah, <laughs> okay, you know what I'm saying? What I was going to say is, your fans will notice. Mm -hmm. Maybe half of my fans yeah. or supporters. I like calling them supporters. Yeah. You could literally be the... Uh, Sony right there too. You can literally be anywhere. Mm -hmm. You could do any interview at the moment you're in right now. Yeah. And you chose to sit down with me. Right. I appreciate that so much. Um, because, and I'm, I'm gonna say this all the time because I don't care. I'm on a rise, you feel me? I've been having some good moments. I've been having a lot of good moments. We've been having a lot of good moments. Yes. Shout out to the team. Yes, but shout still, out to the team. But, but still, we'll clean that up. But still, I'm gonna just use yours so we don't have to do double the mess. Uh uh, give me that no, no, white thing. Give me that you. white thing. I got you. 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 Now nah, you gonna have your own. Okay. See, mine didn't. Oh. Not uh, bad. Not uh, bad. If you can give me a napkin though. You definitely shook yours Please. up though. Uh, napkins in the back, from the back. Um. Thank you, darling. But yeah, I'm, I'm on a rise. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm fortunate and blessed enough to be having these big interviews. Yeah. And you are definitely one of those. You one of those ones. I, um, so I just want to show my gratitude and appreciation. Okay. Well, thank you. I'm a, I'm glad you had me. And no, I could have been that. anywhere in the fucking world. For sure. But I wanted to be here because I just feel like the energy will be right. Mm. And a lot of stuff is like cringy podcasty. And I get a lot of offers and this and that. And I feel like I'm in the point in my career where I can be a little choosy. Mm. And I just can't talk to everybody because I, I already know if it looks cringy when I get there, I can't be disappointed that it's a cringy podcast. Okay. So, so I'm assuming you might uh, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. I'm assuming you probably looked through. Okay. Definitely did. All right, thoroughly. All right. All right, all right. Thoroughly too. <laughs> okay. And you're doing your thing. Appreciate that. Yes. Yo, um, I feel like I know you so well, but I don't know shit about you. First of all, let's okay. get that straight. I'm somebody How to much? know. But how frustrating, and I feel like you can answer this because we Gemini's, and I feel like we think similar, maybe. Yes. How frustrating is that when a stranger say, I just feel like I know so much, I just know <laughs> so much about you. It don't bother me. It I've don't. been kind of hearing, I, I've heard so much. I've been doing this for a minute now, right. so I don't know. It's like, it's like I guess the energy would make you kind of feel like, I feel like I know you, but get to know me. Uh, so, ah. Uh, so I believe you a little bit. I'm going to say why. Because you still, to this day, you be in them comments. Oh, for sure. <laughs> I be in them comments. Mm -hmm. I'm in there. It's so why I, not, though? Because you you ain't regular. So I'm what regular. You mean, why not? I'm very regular. You playing. Don't play. I'm very regular. Don't play. I just got a lot going on that people looks unregular, but I'm so much in the comments because that's just how regular I feel. I'm just in the comments. Hey, I love to talk to people. I love the, I be in the DMs too. Okay. So you don't get to see that. Okay. Me, I call them the family, not the fam, but the fan. I fuck with that. And they, they'll tell you when I pop my shit or post something, all the love I get is because I show everybody else the love behind okay. the closed doors or in front. So when I pop my shit, you're going to see the 8,000 comments. Why? Because I show all of y'all the love y'all need it. If y'all going to show me the love. True. But what about, so I guess if you're going to, you want to do both then. If you want to talk to the people that's showing love, yeah. you also want to pop shit to the niggas that's popping shit. Oh, I'm going to go in. When I have the time, <laughs> the time is given. When I have it. But I, you... <laughs> so how big do you have to get to just ignore the comments? Uh, I'm never going to ignore them. For real? I'm never. What? Let me tell you something. 
we can never get to the point in careers and business where it's like we so up there that like you can't get cussed out by me too because you just as human i'm gonna I'm cuss you out i'm gonna cuss her famous ass out and your little peon ass out mm. i'm right in the middle of both of y'all so Certain certain comments, I'ma see. I'm going in on you. Mm. And some people are like, oh, he she only had 200 comments. Why would you respond, bitch? 200 comments, not. I'm sorry, a, 200 a, followers. I'm about to say, that's a pretty good amount. Of <laughs> I mean, 200. She only got 200 fo followers. Why would you respond? Did you did you catch what I said? Mm. Okay. Okay. I said it, and and I don't. You know, I said it. I feel better now. It's okay. We move forward. But I'm in them comments. You know who it remind me of? Who? Not to compare you to nobody, but it just remind me of like Cardi B. Yeah. And I, I say that because, you know, you got different type of celebrities. You yeah. got the Beyonce's. Who ain't saying nothing. Ain't going to say we shit. We still want to know why Solange was in that elevator doing that. And Beyonce, like, she ain't tell you. will never tell you about it. I feel like you probably can get a meeting. With her, but, you know, I love, I love that part of her. Mm. It's like, I'm, I'm going to grow there one day. That's what, so I don't feel like it's no time soon. Not no time soon? Well, I say all that to say. With... Great power come get great responsibility, right? And Absolutely. you know, um, I mean, let's just get straight to it. We can, I guess, address the elephant in the room. Yeah. You let's have get a. It. You have. <laughs> let's yeah, get it. Yeah. <laughs> so you have had a popular relationship for like four, four and a half years now. Yeah. So when you show people so much of your life, they feel like they do know you, but yep. then you aren't able to live those private moments that you would like because so many people is in your business. Yeah. And that's why when I see you, the first thing I want to say is, yo, I feel like I know you, but then you got so many other people who might feel like they know you. I seen some videos, some responses and shit, and I'm like, bro, you, y'all don't even, y'all trying to put know. two and two together, yeah. and you getting six, because you, you don't even know this shit. all the way out of the park on what's going on. And that's why I say, does it ever get frustrating at all when somebody feel like they know you so much and they have no idea? You know what's crazy, though? It, this is crazy. I've never said this publicly. I'm going to say it, though. It don't frustrate me when men say anything, mm. nothing. I don't, like, the relationship when it ended, the trauma years before I met him, the person I was dealing with, just thug. all of that. The young thug shit? <laughs> come on, man. Come you on. know, you do men don't bother me because I feel like with y'all, it's, so, it's a whole other chakra of a mentality. You're a man, I'm a woman. Mm. I know you won't get it, but when women, you know, it's it's different, and more so black women, like just even with the the relationship ending so publicly, all the comments for the guys, it was almost like I never seen them. Mm. I don't get, I don't expect you to get it, bro. I don't get it. They was all, oh, she want a nigga from the NBA. She bossed up and left a nigga. She want a boss. It's like, I get you would say that, but for women. When it's like the comments, it's almost like it's no way y'all haven't been through something relatable to be so ignorant to jump in these comments and say that some of the things that y'all saying, it's just such a setback for us. It only bothers me when it's like black women. That's it. Damn. And you notice that be the ones I comment to, I, sis, because I'm going to check you, but I'm going to educate you as well. So it's like, God forbid you in this situation one day and it's so public and it's so awkward and it's so weird. Like for a second, I couldn't even post for a minute. I just, it, I couldn't, because mm. it was like, golly, soon as I post, da -da 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 -da, it, it was, it almost like it runs you off for a while, then you try to come back strong, and it's almost like, I'm trying to come back strong, but y'all just, mm -mm -mm. but if everybody that was chopping it down, it was, it was us, it was the black women. Damn. Yeah, you, it's weird. It's like you take, you kind of like, almost take it personally, because it's like, we almost family, oh, as, as a sense, it's like, bro, yeah. come on. And then I feel like, on my platform <clears throat> where I could have been so many other things, I decided to be real. I decided to be like, hey, this is me. Transparent. This is it. This is all of this is me. And it's almost like some of the comments that I got back is like, you kind of feel like, is, is this the payback I get from you bitches? I was real the whole time. And the, some of the responses was like, you can never be real enough. Some people still ain't gonna get it. Let's, let's go back. Mm -hmm. I, I just want to give people a timeline. Yeah. So, your first, some of your first uh, introductions to fame was your family. So you really not new to this. Your, At all. Your family was in a, like a group. With Sing, your, we were in a singing group from elementary all the way through high school. And y'all was doing, um, y'all was doing like all type of showcases and stuff. Was y'all even on Apollo or no? My little sisters was the oh. ones that was on that show. They. Uh -huh. 
my sisters won a, the national uh, McDonald's had a competition kind of like sponsored with Apollo. It was weird, but it was a McDonald's kids thing. It was national. My sisters won it. Damn. It was the only little kids rapping in Detroit, and they won it. That's fire. So we get that. You getting love from that? Yeah. Then, I mean, you you know, some people say all publicity is good publicity. Facts. So we can't ignore the thug shit. Right. Right? Um, right. Free thug. Yeah, for sure. And this ain't really nothing like yeah, yeah. against him. But I'm saying like that happened. So you wasn't used. I mean, you wasn't the the fame wasn't nothing abnormal to you. It wasn't. It wasn't abnormal, but it was. It was abnormal in a terms of like, with certain people on certain levels. I don't really put it out there who I'm dealing with. Mm -hmm. Like right now, I, I don't. I just don't, because. Just people gonna always think it's you know it's a sack chasing situation. Uh, you one of twenty. You people don't get it. They don't get it. So so before we get to, cause I want to go to that. Yeah. The hardships of just have being in public, being so vulnerable yeah. with you and your spouse, and just being so in the open. Right. I'm gonna right. get to that, but just for the fame part. Yeah. Talk to me about this. What is? How much powerful is it? being in a relationship and being famous than everything else honestly or is it not because i feel like it's a major difference i feel it's, like it's so different but i feel like it puts you on a different level though it definitely does and it's it's the good and the bad it's mm. mostly good but when you make that decision to be like okay i accept i'm this popular figure and not and put all this out there you almost are forced to kind of be perfect in it mm. you didn't talk to me like you can't because cheat. I'm showing y'all all the good that we doing. Right. The engagement party, the traveling, the da da. We got the TV show. Well, I showed you all of that because I fuck with y'all. Right. People will forget that. Oh, it's we we arguing today. Oh yeah yeah. He yeah. almost got punched in his face today. He he cussed me out yesterday. Damn, we don't want to see that, Amy. We only want to see and, and put you in a spot to be like, I'm. I can't even share it with y'all. Wait, 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 wait. I don't, I don't know, Amy. I don't know. What? I feel like people you want to see that too. People want to see, all, like, when, if y'all arguing, people love that shit. You know, misery when loves When this company. couple's goes to a certain level. Okay, talk to me. People want to have this ideology of a per perfect relationship. Mm. And for whatever reasons, we was given a perfect relationship. And it was like, like even when it went public, people were like, oh, we knew, oh, I should have known. It seemed too perfect. We was, we never told y'all it was perfect. Yeah. But for some reason, when it's it's more good than bad, it's like, oh, well, we don't want to see on the light of me and my baby daddy. Oh, wow. Me and this nigga fight all day. But you two, y'all can't do it. Then you actually end up being in a space where it's like, we really can't do it. Damn. We really can't show them this. We really can't do this because how do we land into this spot where we're the perfect per you know, couple goals? Mm. Once you get in that spot, you are in a very tight situation. Damn. So, you you are very tight. Well, we can't. Can we see this, bro? I'm sorry, but um, that cap. But I was gonna say thank you. I'm just like a stickler for little shit. Me but too. Anyway, You're a Gemini. <laughs> but anyway, I was gonna ask the level of c celebrity, though. Yeah. What was? Do you think is more being a celebrity in a, in a relationship? is higher than like being a celebrity by yourself um on a on a, on a bigger scale very much mm. so question mm. this might sound crazy do I you like think crazy. do you think jay-z would be as popular as he is today without beyonce yeah you think so mm -hmm. mm. that he has a brain a, a mogul brain a business brain so now he does but you don't think the relationship helped elevate that to another it level. helped it helped make him more relatable right he got a wife he had kids he loved b look he's oh he pull her out on tour but it just gave us another another side of him the relationship side mm. but if you took it away he still we would, would just lose that side of him that's all you would lose what about, it's the lovey-dovey side what about yay you think he'll be yay i mean yay is yay i love yay you know we oh, gemini's yeah. i will assume you love i don't know I, I love Ye, and I, I it's sick. I, I get a lot of the stuff he does, <laughs> yeah. like how vocal, how he would be so silly sometimes to be like, bro, 
why would you do that? And I'd be sitting there like, I know why he did it. Why I would probably do that. Facts. Why he so keep responding to everything? I totally He's hurt. get it. I totally right. get it. Because, you know, we'd be like, I feel so good. I got it off my chest. Now I ain't got to punch you in your face. I don't have to punch you because I said it. Bro, it I if I don't say it, people be I'm going to punch you. People be so, like, we so misunderstood. Because it's crazy. Because, like, I could have what some people would call an argument. Yeah. And I'm good. We get we got it. I love a good debate argument. <laughs> I love it. I'm straight. You feel me? We good. Let's hug it out. Some people, they like that shit. But anyway. Yeah. You think Ye would be <laughs> as, as as big as he is? Um, No. I think that when he got with Kim, that it opened up more diverse platform mm. for whites, for the uh, LAs, the... The net, the Bravo, the networks came with her. So I think that without her, that he would have still been on a mogul level, but just a, a nigga rapping with a bunch of businesses, with a bunch of money. But when he partnered with her, we seen more like. He went from niggas in Paris to that, me and my wife in Paris. We're in Calabasas. <laughs> and now you naming the shoe over here living with Seinfeld and they all in my neighborhood. Niggas was like, wow, we we seemed like we respected it more when he could brag that I'm in Beverly Hills versus da 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 da. Facts. I just wanted to paint a picture to talking about because I, I do feel like um that public relationship shit do elevate you. But yeah, we can't ignore the hardships that come with it. And that's what I want to talk about. It definitely Yo, comes with that. How many how frustrating is it to have a business in your relationship one <sighs> and two have to have it be public and work through those days? In moments when y'all was arguing and don't even like each other anymore, and we got a film, and in one hour, mm. a lot of people don't know. Like with me and him, we actually scored a TV show in the last year. We've been filming it for months. It got picked up by three networks. We were negotiating two of the three, and it was so when money get involved and families' lives can change, and it's like stick it out a little longer because this can set up everybody. You kind of start, stop really focusing on a relationship more of like, and I don't encourage it to nobody when they start feeling businessy, not saying it was always like that with us, but so much greatness was about to happen that your mind will actually be like, maybe this ain't so bad. Mm. And so the business and the relationship is it's a great thing, but it's it's almost such a bad thing because when do you have a time to turn the light switch off and be like, you my nigga, mm. I'm your bitch, and I'm so mad at you, but I can't even do it. You can't be mad at me in this moment. I can't be mad at you because look at these people right here that need us to smile, mm. and we smiling. It's like, uh, and then you start doing it for so, so long because we don't want to see y'all arguing. We are portraying on a, y'all show is black excellence. So we don't care about y'all real life. When it turned into that, it was like, it just, it's, it's not a good thing. Mm -hmm. Then you, when do you cut it? So after you film, when you go home, what do you do? Cause remember it was just an hour of fake smiling. An hour before the fake smiling, we was mad at each other. But for hours, we was fake smiling. When you get home, you almost feel crazy and bipolar. Cause it's like, oh, I'm back mad now. But bitch, you was just, nigga, you was just, mm -hmm. we had to do it. It's, it. It can be very toxic. It can be very emotionally draining. So that combination, I had a lot of mentors before this telling me like, oh my God, this is like, this may not be good. Like going into what y'all about to go into with whatever y'all personal, what y'all got going on. But sometimes for the love of money and thinking of family and success, you'd be like, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. You keep going. But once you combine that business with the relationship and put it out there, you can find yourself like, I'm doing it like a show pony almost. Mm, like like a puppet almost. Yeah. And it don't feel good to neither person. I'm I'm not the victim. It ain't just me. I know he probably didn't feel good like to just be like, dang, this was going on, but I got to smile. I got to be nice to her right now. I really want to choke her right now. But it gets crazy. Next thing you know, it's six months of doing it. Mm. Because you owe us this on this contract. You're going to give this to us. Why? Because we're paying you and you're going to do it. And we're going to change our lives. So then you'll be like, maybe we should smile a little more. Yeah, let's give them Learn some how little. to smile a little harder. Facts. But 
real people like us, me and him, we so similar. It's it just couldn't. It's so crazy because you don't have no idea. Like, so I actually uh, I've been reaching out to y'all for a minute. So the most the most intriguing thing for me was your Gemini. He's a Scorpio. Right. I'm a Gemini. My girl is a Scorpio. So we actually have a podcast called the Gemini Scorpio Podcast. Oh my gosh! And it came about because we were so similar yet different. It was like, nah, you gotta get this on camera because I ain't crazy. Got it. <laughs> it was like, nah. you making me feel like I'm crazy, and but it, I think you crazy right now. And they'd be like, bro, nah, I know you ain't just say that because like I ain't like, bro. Yeah. I'm the only one nigga thinking like facts. And, and so I get it. What was some of the? What was like? One of y'all long lasting arguments or like biggest arguments, not biggest in a moment, but like something that was just ongoing. Yeah. You know, you know what's crazy though about me and him? Like, we didn't break up on, like, still to this day, the close friends and the family, they're like, y'all were so great. We're all still waiting for y'all to say it was a prank mm -hmm. because would it end it over? People say stuff like, it wasn't no cheating, it wasn't no beating, it wasn't no getting called bitches, it wasn't no disrespect, it wasn't, it was none of that, but the Gemini, you know, Gemini Scorpio dynamic, it's, it's like, so tough. listen, two rams, like, how you wanna do it? Mm -hmm. How you wanna do it? We, we, don't, we don't, it's whatever you wanna do. We're, we were so much alike that I think it got to a point where it's like, who gonna kinda, not be the alpha here yeah who's not who gonna and me coming from detroit him coming from the deep south two different end games of what a companion should be mm. i'm a firecracker it's, like, ah, it's just like going and he's like a real nigga like southern real nigga but i ain't breaking either i ain't finna fold to that i don't agree so after so much it becomes like let's fall back but people feel like but what over that, it's like we had two we had two different ideas of. I think you should be like this towards me. I think you should treat me like this. I think your tone should be like this. And in his world, where you come from, I think your tone is too aggressive. I think that you're too much of an alpha. And it's almost like, well, when are you gonna accept me? We both saying it like we don't. <laughs> we not beefing. We talked on Instagram. It's crazy. We have not talked on the phone, but we talked on Instagram. Like a memory popped up on his Facebook and mine. We ended up talking through DM. And recently? Yeah. Woo! Uh -oh. Recently. Uh-oh. Recently. Uh-oh. Like, we don't hate each other at all. It's so crazy because this is, as we've, we've been a strange couple. Y'all just ain't know it. Yeah. We are, like, together a really strange couple. Like, so to talk about it, even in that quick, small little DM, I feel I know he felt and I felt like, nigga, you still don't get it. You mm. still won't turn your alpha down. We're just DMing. And it was like, ah, ah, on both ends. I'm like, ugh. So, can I be transparent too? Absolutely. If you don't mind. I feel like my, my audience know too, so it don't matter. I just want to talk to you. If we can act like this shit not here. That never happened, y'all not there. So, when I see what's going on right now, right? It's frustrating for me because a couple things. Right. One is because, of course, I'm in a long-term relationship as well. And I hate to see Shout people. Shout out to y'all. I yeah, love it. I love it. Yeah, four and a half years. I hate to see people. And hey, you know we was four and a half. Yeah. I hate to, I hate to see people um, in long-term relationships break up because it's just like, I don't know. It felt like it's a part of me, honestly, because I'm. You know, I swear to God, I get it. Yeah. So I, I, me personally, that's one of my biggest pet peeves. I hate that shit. It make me cringe. I swear me too. One. Too because y'all are so popular. So right. like we have a podcast and it's cool. Don't yeah. get me wrong. It's, it's growing for sure. Yeah. People fuck with it. It's gonna keep elevating. But I look at you, right? Mm-hmm. And and Mozzie, and it's like, bro, y'all were way yeah. past what we was got going. We was okay. aiming for that, right? Yeah. And some of our arguments and fights were bad. I'm not gonna lie. It was really bad, like to the point where we probably should have thought about walking away. I'm being right. totally honest. Like, I mean, some things that we should have never did to each other. Right. But because we wasn't so 
out there with it. Yeah. We can do the delete. Fix it so You know what I'm saying? You could delete it's the so page, easy. page you, picture. You could, you could do that for a couple seconds, and people probably think, you know how niggas, they see the deleted, they probably jump in. And yeah. you probably even can entertain for a couple seconds. Facts. But it's all right, you come back. Facts. Y'all situation is so out there. It's like, y'all don't even have the comp, not, well, the leeway to just come back. What? It's, it's but if you But to know me and him, to really know us, let me tell you something. The shit I talk on that on my video, I don't know if you've seen the video, yeah. it was it was real shit. It wasn't a lie told. The stuff he said, he felt. I won't say it was all true, it was not all truth that he said, but in his moment, he felt that he said it. All the shit we done talk, how we been like secretly beefed out, like I'm looking at him like, nigga, you know he's supposed to be better than this. Mm. He looking at me like, I can't believe you left. I'm looking at him like, I can't believe you made me leave. Mm. The love is so real with us. And we, you know what I mean? Like, if we got back right and get, got back together, I wouldn't hide it for a motherfucker who gave a, I wouldn't give a damn. That's it could be motherfucking July the 10th. If I get back with him, if you know me for real, and people who know me know, I ain't lying, I would get back and be like, and, and what? Right. Cause you got to think about it. This was my soulmate. This was something I was doing. This is this is how they said my little shit. This was it wasn't for y'all. So if he got right, and I guess if I got on the level where he felt like turned on your alpha a little, if we got back right, I promise you, I pop back out with him on y'all ass. Like and still posting pictures like eh. Like it. <laughs> Fuck is you talking? Cause y'all are doing it. Fuck is you talking y'all, about? Y'all y'all doing it. We just Ooh. don't see y'all doing it. That's so fire. It does like even now. I, I recently told a family member, like, yeah, we just talked through the DM and the opinion they gave me. I told him, I said, hey, 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 hey. You and your nigga been eight years together. Y'all done did this a hundred times. It just wasn't social we media. We just ain't see it. Mm. So what you just said about him, you, you can't say nothing about him like that. I can. You can. Bitch, I shared this with you about him. Mm. You didn't experience it. So you so you speaking so strong. You didn't get to experience him in that level. I shared this with you. Like, this is how he made me feel. So if you you shouldn't do that, you shouldn't be DMing him. Bitch, be there. Leave uh, your be an ear. Be an ear. That's it. That's it. Be an ear. That's it. Shut up. But, I ain't but everybody know I'm so real about it. It's like, what, could you all get back together? Because you, hey, hey, you don't know what it is. You don't even know if you will be here in three weeks. Mm. So I can't tell you nothing, but I can tell you if I want, if I decide to, and we get back in a space that is a healthy space, a good space, you damn sure right. And I wouldn't give a damn what nobody would actually think. Let me ask you this. I know you say you don't care what they think. Right. But it's a piece of you somewhere that care. You're you a Gemini, so? it's a piece. It's a piece that care. Let me ask you this then. <laughs> How frustrating is it? Like you say, you tell somebody and they give you a different response and it's like, bro, I just want you to listen. You That's know what I'm it, yeah. Or how, because I know sometimes it'd be embarrassing for me. I always be honest, again, I'm being transparent. There's times where I tell my friends what's going on. Yeah. And then I'm back in a relationship and I'm like, fuck, I can't even go back to them and say nothing. You yes, you like can. That? Yeah, I, no, I don't. Mm. I'm going to tell you why. Talk to me. 12 months, let's talk about 12 months down the line. Talk to 12 me. months down the line. So it's June the 8th. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about June the 8th next year. Mm. So much changes in your growth, your shedding, your maturity. I might think I'm just the most grownest woman in the world. By August of next year, I might realize you weren't as grown. You wasn't, if you just keep living, you will just keep living how to learn and be able to get to the level I'm on, which is, I don't give a fuck what y'all think. Because mm. most people who gonna tell you, don't go back to her, they about to off they self behind a bitch behind closed doors. Mm -hmm. They are obsessed with their baby mama and lying to you. You can't Can care. Can you drink with me, please? Cause I, I, I got a lot of ice. My stuff gone. Hold on, hold on. You must have put it in the wrong cup. <laughs> that was look. You put it in the wrong cup. No, no, no. We good. We good. We good. <laughs> you put it in the wrong. cup. No, just give me a napkin. Just give me a napkin. They can't see. They can't see. But anyway, I you put it in the ice cup. That was just well, for you to pour the ice. Let's do it then. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And now, I put, and I put shit. no orange juice in it. Oh, what are you saying to me? Okay. And it's still our birthday month. Facts, I'm turning up. Okay? Bro, Talk you, can't get, you can't get no damn liquor. You got to make sure we good, man. Talking about ice and orange juice. Here, bro. Here. Can so, so what I was leading to say was this. Go ahead. Fuck this shit. As much as I can look you in your face right now and tell you, I am never getting back with him. Mm-hmm. 
those are my today feelings and emotions and my understanding of how I'm feeling today. And I could change tomorrow. In December, something could happen. A conversation could happen. A change could happen with him. I could wake in the mirror and say, you might be too alpha. I could come into a self-check of myself. Now my feelings are different. But that's why if you keep living, you will keep understanding, hey, I'm, I'm, it's okay for me to say, I recant that feeling I had because this and this occurred and now I feel different. But to not do that because you're worried about what somebody else is going to think, that is, that's sick. But to not me. to not do it though. I'm curious to know, you don't wish, you don't ever wish that you never said anything to your people? Nope. Nope, it was, How did you get there? It was the truth. It was the truth. It was the truth. And if I can tell y'all all this other stuff, this is what's happening in my life right now. Damn. This is what's happening right now. And guess what? In the, in the position, in the career choice that you're in, that I'm in, and what we're doing, you got to get to the point where you just say, fuck them. And fuck it. And fuck them. Okay. Because if you don't, you will be in the house thinking about opinions of strangers who don't really give a damn about you. Facts. They, they, you, you are an entity to them. Damn. That's it. The people around you, the, the, the people, these are the people that matter. Everybody else, I could say online, I'm mad at him, I'm done, I, da, da, he did this. It was the truth. But if I decide to reconcile, fuck y'all. But that's what I'm talking about. The people around you, not really. Okay, the people around me. Yeah, so like, had you ever got to a point where you were telling them? Yeah. And so just being honest. Okay, yeah. we've been transparent. Fuck it. Fuck it. We yeah. here. Fuck y'all niggas. It's been times. <laughs> fuck y'all niggas. So it's, you know, like. I got friends and me and my girl have problems mm -hmm. and I bring my problems to my friends. Yeah. And what happened is I keep telling my friends the same thing. So they yeah. look at me like I'm crazy or it's like, it's mm -hmm. kind of like the boy that cried wolf. It's yeah. like, you keep telling no. me this. That's their problem. Why are they looking at you like you crazy? Oof. That's their problem. Damn. So you don't never, ever like, what, what, what how you get there? Tell just me. disappointments, realizing, caring about everybody, opinion of family. And then I had a family member. Jeez. I don't even know if I talk to me. They ain't gonna know who. I mean, you said your cousin looked like the fucking llama. Was it ostrich. Yeah, it was a llama. She looked the like llama. Him too. She looked like him too. <laughs> so you can say. I had I had a family member before that was giving me a. This is about two years ago. Giving me an opinion. That was my fiance at the time. Giving me my opinion about what you shouldn't do this. You should just all the opinions. Okay. Mm -hmm. And. When a family spat happened and it came out what she had going on with her husband, I was like, "The audacity, bro! The that's why I said the pocket, the audacity." The aud oh, you now did. imagine if I had been like most and took her opinion because it was so strong and it sounds so right. Amy, you could have anybody. You could do anything. You got money. You should. I'm talking about really. But but when you get to the point that I'm on, I can listen to you and not and not hear you. Mm, I can I can listen to you and not hear you because I respect you. You telling me something, I'm just listening because I got ears that's respecting. But I'm not hearing you because I know what you got going on. And most of these people, you don't even know what they got going on. They're telling you something, trying to make themselves believe it and come up out of their shit. So the average person would be like, you should leave, shorty. You should leave your girl. They stand there trying to persuade themselves to leave their bullshit. They ain't strong enough to do it. They want to see if you gonna do it first. And you know what's crazy? The friends that get it, cause I I got like maybe, damn my friends are gonna hit me. I got like one, two, maybe three good friends. Friends that will be like, they will listen to all this shit, right? It could be the tenth time he said it, and they like, just you know what I'm saying? I'm rooting for y'all. Like take your real, time. A real friend. <laughs> take your time, and you know like yeah, that's. And if you up, take your, if you come back on what you just said, we ain't judging you. <sighs> We don't give a, we, Talk what about you want to do, though. what you want to do, how you want to do it, we with you regardless. Talk about them friends. Oh my God. Let That's me tell you, different. I got a few of them. I don't got a lot, but one of my good, good, good homegirls said, sis, she said, although I told you in the last two weeks, I did good. I didn't respond. Something he did made me respond. I'm like, I gotta say something. Fuck that. If he had never said that, it had been three weeks of the breakup. I wasn't going to say nothing. All right. So I know we, I know, I know we vibing. Yeah. But it's still a podcast. You got to tell me what he said. I got to do my journalism well, thing. I'm sorry. You got, you got to tell me what he said. This guy. <laughs> this guy. He, he, he made a post, a media post, and it said, 
watch how they treat you when they come up, when they get up, when they come up. Jeez. It was like a dagger in my back, like, my nigga, what? Because we came up together. I was just was, you know, I just had a goal of just saving and just making sure I don't have to go back to work. I had, that was what I was doing. You was doing something different, and you know that. But I guess, like I say, I, that, this is why I can't be mad at him and hate him. Everything he did, I literally did to somebody years ago. Mm. So I can't, how could you do this? How did I do that when I was 24? Because I did that something similar to a nigga, and it was like, I felt karma got me for years from do It is like, I get how you, even though you're doing this shit to me, is it weird that I get it? Because I did somebody like that. That's I can't that, even be that mad at you. That's that Gemini shit. Niggas be too understanding sometimes. Too. And I got it. That's why I'm <laughs> able to be like, you can't talk about him like that. Period. We just had a, it just didn't work out. But that's that was still my best friend for years. We still went through a lot of personal shit. He was there in the court when the, when the whole cancellation after the thug situation. You got to think, we met months after that. This was the person who was, all day calling didn't know me from a can of paint like this a person didn't even have social media like that like are you good like you checking so you can't talk about him mm. you'll get canceled fucking around talking about him you know what's scary because we're gonna go back to your friend yeah the scary part about like not scary but it's weird because it's, it's almost like we've been together so long that we become like family that's how it is. <laughs> it's like you know, like you know, I ain't gonna talk about, let nobody even talk about your brother. Even in this bad space, I wish a motherfucker would. Right? Do you like, understand that? You like you got family, got siblings and shit. Like y'all fight, and then somebody else side try to see yeah. something. Because when you know you love somebody that deep, that I am chills. so mad yeah. at you. Yeah, I'm so mad and done with you. Relationship part, but the friend inside the heart, the body. That's yeah. my friend. Don't, Don't get fuck with up. my friend. Don't get it fucked up. Yeah. All right, so. He, he went on social media and, and, and yeah. let's paint this picture. Let's again. Yeah. All things we're saying is your perspective. Correct. His perspective. We ain't down to nobody because not at that all. That ain't my job either. Like I know. Not my, a, and he I'm ain't a, here to defend himself yeah. and say shit. I'm gonna ask the questions, but Facts. I just wanna yeah. let people know that yeah. we ain't, that ain't that ain't what we on here to do. At all. So you felt like he went on social media said, watch how they treat you when um He made emotional posts. You said you wasn't gonna you said you wasn't gonna respond. you and I think you were saying that you, you did respond because he made that post and then your friend and was And my saying, friend, my good friend was like with me for them three weeks after that post. And she was one of like, hold tight, don't say nothing. I said, I ain't saying nothing. I'm acting like Beyonce. We want to know why Solange was kicking in that damn elevator on Jay-Z. She ain't respond. I ain't finna say nothing. And then it got to a point where I think I tried to promote or post something. All the comments, because remember, in the social media world, Whoever speak up first, the other one who didn't, bitch, you done. Yeah. You are done. So, Amy, he said something first. You evil bitch. You had a good, faithful man. You dumb bitch. I did. It was that situation. But for weeks, I was holding tight, like, not going to say anything. La, 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 la. This will pass. And then finally, it was like, I'm going to say one thing. I got one shit to say. That's, and I'm going to say it. And that was it. That's what came about the YouTube video. But my homegirl, I was leading to say that homegirl was so mad about, she was like, you responded? Well, well, I thought we went over this for three weeks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that it's a rare good friend because she also said, you know how you just said you done and I can't believe he just, you just, you just said some bullshit about me. You know that wasn't what it was. She said, if you decide to go back, get the relationship back, y'all get, I'm supporting him and I ain't loving him no less. Mm -hmm. That's the type of fucking friends that I got, and I need it. Everybody else that went in, I had homegirls that went in, immediately texting me, we should do this, we gonna do this, get him, get him. I was like, God damn, like, I didn't even give a chance to tell you what happened. He's done, you should go date so-and-so who always liked you. I'm like, you can't be for me. Because mm. if you was really for me, you wouldn't know five years, that ain't six months. In this era, it's hard to do five years. It's hard to do a year. It's hard though. to do a year. <laughs> so go date so and so. Make them mad. Go do this. I'm like, who sent you? In fact, because this is all this is all inappropriate conversation. There's some real shit happening. But I had about two friends. Like, if you take them back, bitch, fuck it. Post it, and I wish a bitch would. Anybody comment on it? And I'm like, thank you. That's that's the reality of it. Some people will say, nah, I gotta stand stand on what I said. I stand on what I said at that time because that's how I was feeling at that time. But now, what's going on here? Hi, we're back together and fuck y'all. Mm. 
So I'm gonna just I'm just asking the questions again. You never really said what happened. Yeah. It's years. It it wasn't no cheating, wasn't on domestic shit. What yeah. happened? I think that to be honest, um, and I know he ain't gonna not appreciate me saying it because it's the truth. I think that two different maturity levels, I think that what I thought, no, what I know, what I know a companion should do and what he thought that I should be doing as the woman and what he should be able to do, it, it, it's unfortunate it took four and a half years. It's a little over four. It's going to be five years. It took almost five years to realize, like, dude, no, this is not how this is supposed to go. Like what? Like... Hmm. Without saying too much, just simple things like I'm an overthinker when it comes to savings and money and making sure like, hey, you do understand in real life, I can walk out right now my face and get cut up. I can be disfigured. All this can be over for me. All of it. It happens. This is life. Mm. I'm fully prepared for that and that. It can go this way or that way. I'm praying the most high make it go this way, but I know it can go this way. So what I got to do, because that's how my brain works, I got to be safe. I, I got to be straight to the point. I would never have I would never have to work again because that was a focal point of my life. I don't I, I know how I could go in the industry. You could be hot today and you are canceled and done. Say the one wrong thing caught on the wrong video and all this shit can be over. Mm. So my goal was like we getting married next year. We had the wedding plan. We had the invites. This is how it's got to go. The 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 um preparation for what could and could not happen. And on the level that he's on currently today, his was like, we do this shit month by month. We don't know how August will be. We don't know what we'll have in August. And it was for me like, sir, this is uncomfortable. Like we gotta be on the same accord as far as like, what is, what's the end goal? Like the savings, the, how soon is house gonna be paid off or I don't have no kids, even having kids. Like, it's it's about the money, it's about the saving, it's about the credit, it's about preparing yourself for the, the worst and the best. And I think with him being just, I don't wanna say a guy, cause it's just so fucked up, but the mentality of artists, it's, it was almost like every week was like, fuck how next week might be. We, we in love today, it's like, it, it's not safe that way for me. So, shit. They don't kill me for this. I think it might be a Scorpio thing. I say that because my girl is like that, but like I learned so much from her. I'm not gonna lie. Right. I'm just when it comes to like saving, like when you said I'm like, that's how I am. Like, bro, I need to save for bro. I know how I feel to be down bad. I ain't trying to go back. Nigga, and this is refuse different. to. You feel me? So I say that to say, but like she lives so like free. Yeah. Like it's like, and I, I ain't gonna lie, sometimes I do I learn from it because I need to live like that. But it's like, I be just like, nah, cause like she. I ain't saying nothing wrong. She she yeah. confirmed. She gonna if if hypothetically, I don't know if the bills paid or whatever the case may be, and she got her last to go on a trip, she gonna go on a trip. Yep. Me, I'm gonna put that motherfucker shit. Oh, I missed that trip. <laughs> Fuck that trip. Fuck that trip. <laughs> Fuck that trip. So it might be a Scorpio thing, but I think, and it's I think it's fair to say that's something you knew about him yeah. since you met him. Yeah. What was the needle that broke the stroke? What was the needle that broke the camel's back? Um, Cause it had to be something. You've been through that. What was the the ending? The the to thing? be honest, he had never just straight up looked and straight up told me like, "This is me. This is how the fuck it's gonna be with me." It was always. I think he was so in love with me, and I was so in love with him that he always knew who he was. I always knew who I was. But when you love somebody, you like, oh, she wants this out of me. I have to. Make it like this is, I'm going to do that. I'm going to be that person. Mm. But I think at this point that he finally was just like, hey, this is me. And this is how I live. I'm living like, I'm not, str like, I'm not stressing, but I'm like, I'm always overthinking. And he's like, I'm a free thinker. You are stress a stressful person. You are <laughs> always thinking about the next six months. And, and I ain't doing it. Yeah. And I ain't never going to start doing that. And it was like, for me as the woman, I'm like, is this fair to make you be 
the person I want you to be. And you've been, you've been showing me, fuck telling me. You've been showing me for years. Bitch, this is me. Mm. This is me. Now, I'm going to try a little bit to bend and be a little bit who you want me to be. But over the top, this is me. Mm. I'm not thinking as deep as you. I'm living week to week and month to month. This is my background. We got two different backgrounds. And I was just sitting there like just beating a dead horse like, but can't you see doing it my way is a responsible way. It's how you save up all the money. And it's like, I'm not doing you a justice at this point. Mm, 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 mm. It's not fair. You are this free. And you know, it's crazy. Cause I used to tell him like, this, this was, this was so much of my best friend. That I used to tell him like, I, in another lifetime, wish I could be like you and I one say, of my siblings. Boy, when I say I, yeah, I might I might give up this shit, the money and all that, and and be like you, cause you live a grand life. I swear to God, <laughs> I say this. I swear to God, I can't make this up. I'm like, yo, I admire you. I'm not gonna lie, like the like, bro. I get so stressed out sometimes, bro. Yep. Like, I never forget my mom girl told me like, you gotta step your faith up. I'm like, what the fuck? She, said, you gotta step your faith up. Really? What does she mean by that? Like, so like, I don't know. Like something happened, and like I just go in. Over like overdrive. I'm working. Right. Like if something happened, like I know if we got got down here, I'm like man, I need to get ten interviews on the tuck just so I could be yeah. good. Like that's how I am. And this wasn't when she said it, but it was a while ago. I think I got fired, some shit like that. Yeah. And I was just mad. Like I got this to worry about. I got this to worry about. I got this to worry about. And she's like, man, you gotta step your faith up. And I and it was basically I don't think nothing like that. This is gonna. <laughs> I don't even go. I don't. Ne- I don't talk about religion because my religion starts no, so fine. fucking different. People would. I probably get canceled if people thought how I thought, but. I don't believe in all that faith and all of that. You gotta, but I believe in if reality. I sleep all fucking day. The reality, me, I ain't gonna have it. it. All that you gotta have faith that God gonna listen. You keep on fucking. You keep fucking waiting. <laughs> you you just keep sitting there and fucking waiting for somebody to give you this shit. I don't care, and I'm not saying don't have the faith, but th- this is crazy. I get what you're saying. I believe in more of me of. I can go out here right now and go smoke some crack and be a crackhead in six months, or I cannot do that shit and be the boss. I'm the one doing that. It's no higher power said, go do this. I go, I can, I can literally put the date on my tomb so I can walk right out here and get hit and purposely get hit by a semi. Who you think did that? Who you think did it? You. I, I did that. Yeah. I got faith in myself. And that's why I get it, but I do just being trans not transparent, but being um understanding what you're saying, I do wish. I do admire that though. I'm not gonna lie. It'd be admirable. Yeah, it's something, sure. it's something about it that's like, damn, like. How I, does it feel to live like that? Like, I want that. Facts. I need that. Facts. I ain't gonna lie. But me? Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. But so, okay. Amy, we having a great conversation. But I gotta tell you, you know, we're gonna Tim, be real with each other. I always. I don't believe that him saying, this is me, was the. Straw that broke the camel's back. You mean to me four and a half, almost five years, and him just saying, "Yo, this is just me, bro. You gotta live with it or, or, or don't live with it." And you like that? Well, I gotta walk away. I promise you that. I promise you. I got to a space where I was like, "You're being you, and I'm being me. Me being me, I, you feel like I'm bitching all the time, but you being you, I feel like I got a bitch. This is not healthy for either one of us." Mm. It's not, but love went on so long. It's still there, but love, it, it's going to always get better. We're going to always get to the point we're going to meet each other in the middle. But then, unfortunately, you really get to a point, which is where we got to, where it was like, we got to live in reality. This is you. This is you. I ain't mad at you for being you. It don't work for me no more. Mm. That's the hardest thing. That was the hardest fucking thing ever. Like, we both just said, like, Recently, like May 9th was literally the worst day of my life. He said it was the worst day of mine. May 9th was the worst. And the reason being like, I think that my request was like really minor. I think that what I was asking was not. What did you ask? Be a little more responsible. Be a little more cautious of finances. Be a little more like, if I lose my legs, I got to depend on you. Can I depend on you? Like, it was that. And what he asked was like, stop thinking. You think too much. Stop overdriving and fucking worried about and living today. bills and money and da 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 And live and in the moment. Live in the moment. But do you, you know what's crazy? He's, I don't even think he's wrong for that. 
it just ain't work for me. I can't be fake. I don't live in a moment. So I can now look at you and say, I don't live in a moment. I never can. It's been five years. You see, I can't do it. You telling me to do this and I'm telling you I can't and I'm showing you I can't. And you're telling me with this strong energy, I live in a moment. Like literally not saying this, but this is how it feels to me. Bitch, I live in a moment. Stop fucking bitching and complaining. This is what I'm doing. So now what do we do now? It's like, I see you. I agree. you, I believe you. And, and we can't be a couple. We can't be together because I can't live in a moment like you and you can't be in overdrive like me. You kind of laxy days. You chilling. You like you, you, you chilling. And I'm not in chill mode. I'm in like overdrive. I'm in all the time. Maybe sometimes I'm, I'm dreaming too big and I'm, I may be wanting stuff that a lot of people don't really think is obtainable. In my head, I know it's obtainable. <laughs> but because it's so much, it's so big, some people, and I'm not saying it's just him, it's some people around me too. It's him too, but it's other people. A lot of people be like, this is what we got is okay. This is okay, look at our house, look at our car. And for me, it was like, mm -mm. do you know I'm already thinking about paying off the house? To, to, to get the fucking title, to, Really, it be ours. But do I shame him for being like, I ain't in overdrive. I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet where you at mentally. Responsible-wise, I'm not there. Do you hate the person? Do you continue to stay with them and just verbally just be going in on them, going in? You need to be more responsible. You need to. Because it's like I, I, found, I found myself in a position to be like, I got the most caring guy, faithful loving, supportive, but you're not as responsible as I wanted you to be. I was weighing this for a long time, like, which one? But then it got to a space where it was like, I'm constantly like fussing at you now. Like, ah, you need to save more. You need to be more responsible. You need to, and this person is telling me in a loving way, like, you're more responsible than me. I'm not on this pressure that you own, this, this money and just living, all this stuff you on. I'm not on that. And, and he straight up said it, our last argument when it was over, like, think of all the years, we, have I ever been on it? And it hit me then, like, you was never even being fake. You have been telling me since day one who you are. But I was just so in love that I wanted to believe that you was gonna eventually mold into that's not fair. That's not, that's, that's not fucking fair to do to anybody. So if it's healthy to be like, hey, you know the person that you've been telling me for a while you're going to be? And then, hey, you know the person I wanted you to be? We see it's not happening, right? What else do you do? Do you just go into year six and seven and eight? And you just, what, what do you do? Or do you say, <clears throat> go be the person you're going to be. I'm going to go be the person I've been and I've been, which is a worrier, a person all about the money and i and i mean not all about the money as in nigga want business. your money yeah you've been all about your business i'm about my business and then you were just like this free butterfly he's so much funner than me he's so much more lit like people be is mozzie coming to the party i'll be like bitch i've been your friend for 20 years <laughs> where is mozzie his energy he's just so careless <clears throat> it's like i know he is it's not fair for me to try to twist it and alter it off that's just who he is so it just didn't work so let me ask you this do you think the engagement, do you think the same thing that would have happened if y'all wasn't engaged? Do you think the engagement made it more serious and made you think about the future more? It did because now the engagement leads to what's next, the wedding, right? Mm. That's next, that's right around the corner. The whole woo-wop, last name change. My finances is yours, mm. your debt is mine, my debt is yours. It's not just, so. Oh, it's over, we're done, we're gonna move forward, it's bitch, we're married. You got my whole last name. It definitely was, the engagement wasn't, didn't make, make it worse, but it made me think deeper. Yeah, like, that's, what, that's what I mean. Did it make you think more into it? For sure. Do you think you could have, this hypothetical plan, that was advocate, instead of breaking up or, or splitting, do you think you could have just called off the wedding and just took a step back? That's a good question. So let me, let me ask you this. If I called off the wedding, does that change the person's personality? It don't change my personality for sure, no. So the calling the wedding off would have done nothing but called it off. <laughs> mm. Called the wedding off. We still engaged. I'm still faithful. I'm still committed. Literally, Mozzie's the first nigga I ever been faithful to. I never believed in just, 
never dated. I just always, I don't, uh uh-uh. I just, you're in Detroit, you're in Atlanta, to whatever nigga. Like, I just always like to move and stuff. But this was the first person. So I didn't even want to get to the point, like, call the wedding off and to that. All I I could tell you this, we really tried. That's one thing I could tell you. Really tried. This was not a thing that's like, oh, I thought of this in six months and did it. This was like, we really fucking tried. And that's why I'm curious. That's why I asked. That's why I say I don't believe that just him saying that's me. Yeah. It's hard to believe because, like, y'all, I know y'all tried. We tried. Yeah, like, what the last argument, what was the last argument? Like, it wasn't just I'm being me. It was something that sparked it. And it was like, bro, I can't do this no more. Yeah. That's what um, I'm asking. Feeling like the last, like, scream and argument that I had with him when I looked at him, I just was like, bro. I don't want to use these words towards you no more. I love mm. you too much. It, it it hurt him. The last one, it was like, nigga, you got me. It, one of them, it was bad. To look at him, I, I realized, like, he's not doing this on purpose. He is not doing this on purpose. It was really like, it hit me. He is not doing this shit on purpose. This is really just him. And I felt like, how fucking dare you, me? I'm self-checking myself now. How dare you keep verbally attacking it? You need to be like this. You need to, da, 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 da. and a person like when I looked at him, he's, this is me. It's like you right, bro. Yeah, it's this like, is you. I wash my hands, hands up. This is you, and you're not wrong for being you. You are not wrong for being you. It just ain't working for me now, mm. and you don't deserve to keep getting fussed at and yelled at because you're just being you. You're not in overdrive. You're not. You just being fucking you. And when I get to the place where I feel like I'm just, I don't like being mean to people, especially somebody I love, but I'm so vocal that it's like, I'm telling you what it is. I'm telling you what I need. I'm telling you what I want. And now it's starting to go from just me telling it and articulating it to you. Now I feel like I'm bitching all the time. I don't, I don't like want to be do that person. I never, I'm not, I can't be it. When it got to that, spo- that point, it's like, me, I can't be that person. Let me ask you this. What's worse? Because what? both of them is annoying as fuck. <laughs> I can't believe we, what's worse? Always having something to say or always feeling like you gotta say something. It's a difference. So like somebody who's always being said something to is like, yo, you always got something to say. But the other person's like, nigga, you always doing something that's just fucking wrong. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) yeah. What's worse? What you think is worse? I think feeling like you, feeling like you always got something to say because then you get in a personal space you're like is it me mm. what is, was it about you that i always feel like you just uh it's nobody wants to be the bully nobody wants to be that person and i think that always feeling like i got something to say i'm finna you start playing with your own head at some point like is it you <laughs> is it you are you the problem when we both was in that space for a while like is it me i literally was like am i do i gotta turn it down is it him? He like, do I got to turn it down to that? I, I just think that, to be honest with you, I just think that Mozzie and I, we have to go separate to really just fuck thinking what we want, knowing what we want, mm. like knowing. I think I know what I want. But from, but from what I accepted over the years, it's no way I knew. Because if I knew for sure, it would have been over year one. Because like I say, from the beginning, he been, been telling me, showing me, this is me. If I knew what I wanted, why did I not leave year one? Because if you knew what you wanted, you saw the year one, you would have been like, I know that ain't what I want. But for me to go five years, I clearly didn't know what I wanted. I'm going to ask you this vague question, but it's, a, it's deep. How are you right now? Honestly. Honestly, I'm um, not well, but I am trying to be well. Yeah. I am. It's just. I'm just trying to be well. It's like Monday, Tuesday, every day is coming. Mm. Sad or not, tomorrow going to be what, Thursday? Yeah. So Saturday night is coming, right? Then Friday comes, then Saturday and Sunday. So you don't have no choice but to try to be well, but really not well because this is, even though it's like I walked away from the relationship, I did it. 
he didn't say I'm done. I'm leaving. I said it's over. You got to get yourself together. I'm going this way. You going away? And it's over. And I mean it this time. I did that. But now that I said it and did it and we're living it, it's like this just big void because like it's the weirdest. I've never been in the weirdest sp space where it's like, how do you have the most almost perfect guy? But that one little thing he can't get right, you leave. It's it's almost like a depressing feeling. It's almost like a dog on a chain and a chain get this close to the bone. It's like I almost can get it right there. But you know you you're never you're not getting that. The hardest thing to accept is like, I don't wanna do this, but I got to. When you wanna do something and you leave, you don't be depressed behind it. But when you don't want to, when you're forced to, it is a fucked up, it's a fucked up position to be in. So like, I just feel like I'm not really well, but I'm being well. Cause this is like- You're forcing yourself to be okay. I gotta be. I made the decision. It's like, I made the decision. What do you do? You make it and just be going. I just feel like for me, it's like, wow. Even though, even though it's weeks into this, I swear to God, I still wake up some days and it's wow. It's like, wow, this is really, this is really fucking happening. Like to even see a post on social media from him, it's like, what the, how the fuck did we get here? We, me and you, cause I always felt like we were so much better than a lot of the bullshit. Two faithful people, dude, walk, he put his face in my password. I'm asleep. I wake up the phone, be on his side. I, when I agree to it, I'm like, I ain't, I ain't, do, I ain't playing them games no more. I'm over it. I'm cool. I'm getting married. I don't fuck y'all niggas. Mm. I was there, and he was there. So when you get that close to almost like almost your happy ending, and then it's gone, you you can't be well. You just you just keep going. But I got so much stuff stuff I'm working on that it get back to show business. I don't even really have a time to really not be as not well as I am. I don't even got a chance to really be not well because I'm really not well behind it. You know, it's crazy. So on my show, I always talk about therapy and the importance of it, right? And I definitely think it's important. I started therapy three <clears throat> weeks ago. Congratulations. Three weeks ago. Having this conversation, you know, I always, I'm not trying to be a hypocrite. I always tell people, you know, like you can't work through things because you don't get time to face it, right? But understanding where you at, like, you know, because I've been there before. I'm back. I'm with my girl, but I, yeah. it was times where I didn't think. Yeah. As crazy as it may sound, sometimes you do have to keep yourself busy to, like, get over it until you can yeah. face it. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's because it's, 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 it's weird because I, I get on this podcast so many times i'm like bro you just outworked it you ain't get a chance to face it you ain't face it you, you, you didn't even deal with it yeah and i'd be like bro you got to go to therapy da, da, da. and I'm, now i'm thinking like nah maybe you do need to be busy for now but you got to yeah. go back and face it right but now all you can do is get through it yeah all you can do is get through it it's 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 sad when you just got to keep rolling on it remind you almost like when people I've, i my homegirl told me one day her her um kid's father got killed R.I.P. to him. Yeah, my say God bless his soul. And when she said this, I swear to God, I, I recently, like, at the house, I was like, dang, I heard my homegirl words. I'm like, that's how I feel. That's crazy because he's alive. But she was like. Mm. Situation is dead. It's sad when I didn't tell him it's over. I didn't, like, talk about her dude who died. Like, it was taken almost. So mm. you feel almost like, I want, it, I want it back, but if it's gone. It's so similar to me because it's like weird. This person is in the same city as me. I could go and get, like my happy ending was with him, right? I could go get it right now. It's in another city, but it's not the right thing to do. It's almost mourning. Mm -hmm. It's mourning something. It's, it's like the, the weirdest space, but I will say like, I'm, I'm a good hearted person. I'm a good girl. He's a good guy. And I'm just I'm just really wishing the best for anything he touch anything we you don't know what the future hold as far as right now I'm just I'm not dating I don't want to date I 
it just happened a few weeks ago. Within two weeks of that, I just got on the show. I haven't even posted about it. I haven't, I can say this, but I can't give the details of it. But mm. as I told you, I'm going to LA for not, for, for six days. For It's like, I'm, you have- So you can't tell me the show you on? Not yet. Damn. That's the one sucky thing about showbiz. What was the show you and Mozzie was on then? Cause you ain't say that either. We was doing Love and Hip Hop, you know, going through that process. Damn. And then we got our own show called the Amy and Mozzie Show. And that bitch was lit. Damn. Yeah. Y'all had an Amy and Mozzie Show like when y'all first started. Yeah, well the, we uh, had the podcast yeah, yeah. at Live Hip Hop Day. Y'all was doing that shit before. We done did the damn, in four and a half years we did the damn thing. But that's like crazy, that's my, we're 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 the same people. Maybe that's why this is going on too. Like it's nothing, anything about him. His mama and my mom used to be like, "This is crazy." It's like that's your son and that's my daughter, but we birthed the same human. It's weird. Right. It's cringy. It's crazy. It's kind of like feels like incest almost, but like like that. But I just feel like right now I gotta focus on what I'm doing and I gotta I I just gotta do it alone for now. It doesn't feel good to do it, but I got a good support system and. This is a part of my timeline in my life. How does it feel when you see him like post his truths, no matter like if yeah. it's off or not, just seeing it? I'm, I'm honestly just glad he alive and trying to move on like I'm doing. I'm sure it's fake, like it's fake for me. And that ain't a good feeling. So I almost feel bad for him. Cause even when I see his post, I can look at him and tell like, you feel like I'm feeling right now. Yeah. So I feel almost bad when I see his post because it's like, you got to be feeling how I'm feeling. I got to post this because I owe them this promo. I owe this to them. But I just, I feel more so bad. And I just, you know. Can, can I have, can I be ignorant a little bit? Yeah. It ain't the same, bro. Like, it ain't the same. Like, I feel like when women are going, getting over some shit, it just looks so much better. It just looks so much fun. Yeah. It looks so much more fun. Yeah. It hurts so much more different. Yeah, like, yeah. I feel like Mozzie's working. Yeah. I ain't saying you ain't working, but it's just like you're having fun doing it. And it's yeah. just, that shit hurt. <laughs> like Someone said that too. They say, hey, someone commented, they say, uh, damn, y'all just broke up. You're already having a pool party because I had a pool party for Cinco. But getting fucking goats and shit my party was planned three weeks before the breakup my family was coming in town so i the party it had to go on but you best believe we are no different than y'all i can't but because we a little more fluid and I, whatever it's almost like <laughs> that shit hurt I mean, it's like you go into fucking farms riding horses and shit getting goats yeah it just look like you living your life because the show must go on so the show must go on understanding that yeah when you lose a family member, the show must go it on, does. don't it? You got to go to work. Then you got to. Your you ass got three, of... five days to breathe. Exactly. And your ass better be back at work. So how do you feel about the whole YouTube thing? Because the show must go on. Yeah. I don't know who started it, but he clearly continued the show. Yeah. But y'all built that. Yeah. But he had to work. How, did, how was that for you? I, I'm going to tell you, I didn't appreciate how he did that. But again, remember that Gemini part of us, we can somehow, even after being slapped, be like, I can see why you slapped my crazy ass. Because I saved the money and was responsible, and then I got the house, and then I got the car. How he went about taking the YouTube, I didn't appreciate it, but. Changing the password. Change it, change everything. I'm, I'm driving, I get the alerts. I'm like, <gasps> I pull over. I said, God damn. Somebody told me that he was gonna do that. I said, he, he wouldn't do that to me. He wouldn't do it. He would have did it two weeks ago. He's not gonna do it. Mm -hmm. I don't know what made him wake up that day and do it, but he did it. But in some way, I kind of felt like we even. Mm. That's fucked up. <laughs> that's fucked up. And that's it's not funny, been, but it's, it's, like, it's funny. because it, You saying we even is funny. It's we even. You want to know why? Because here, here a woman go again, being passive, trying to, you know, nurture in a moment where you should be like, nah, nigga. We, my team was like, we going to court. We're going to court behind this. And I was like, at first, yeah, we are. But then I had to, I sat alone for a minute and was like, 
I was doing social media before him. This is no shade. I can start my YouTube channel up and run past the Amy and Mozzie show. And that's no, when I say no shade, I mean it because I'm the girl. I was, I was in this first. I was, about to, I was about to go, not even first though, but I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you yeah. go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say later. Go ahead. So go. I took that moment and said, eye for an eye. Trust me, I articulated that was fucked up. That was fucked up. And you know it, and I know it behind closed doors. But it's almost an eye for an eye because at the same time, I kind of felt like you got you moving on and got to start over. You got to go get your new condo, you got or your apartment, whatever you decide to do. I kind of got the fan base. I brought you into the social social media world, excuse me, um, and they're gonna always kind of go with me, right or wrong. It's not fair, but that's how it works. That's how it works, and I'm, I'm and so I, mad that you've said that out loud. Listen, listen, <laughs> I'm for real. That I ain't being bragging. You've no, you you seen are. it, but not even just you. I was what I was going to say is, it's the woman in general. I mm -hmm. fucking hate that. Mm -hmm. Even if he was on social media first, I'm a hater. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, fact. No, I'm gonna let y'all know. You see, De'Aaron and Ken, bro, they went straight to De'Aaron. Ken looked like he he meditating and shit. It and looks. I know. You see, De'Aaron. This motherfucker. Deal, deal. Stop. <laughs> Be, I fucking hate y'all when it comes to that. It, but you know what? The woman always win, bro. I hate it. Always win. But I I'm such it. a real fucking person. Guess what I said? I promise you on my life. My team was so mad behind that YouTube. Somebody went in, went without my permission, went and paid, spent some money, and was like, got a court date coming up. Mm. I knew you wasn't going to agree to this, but you being too nice. This is y'all shit. And then I said, you didn't get permission to do that. If I'm willing to say you was fucking wrong for what you did, you got to deal with the most, the most high behind it. It's yours. Let it be worth it. Let it be worth it. I started my shit over. 50,000 subscribers. Two days. Two days. <laughs> Crazy. And, but but I'm, a, I'm such a fair person that go eat off of that. Crazy. And I'm gonna do this, and then that better be worth it. It's that's how I felt in my spirit, and it's okay. I'm not fighting. It, it's yours. It's literally yours. And I'm talking about this is what 400,000 subscribers that we worked for for three years. The videos with me on them got 1. million views or more. It's yours. You're gonna get the check every month. You know legally, I supposed to continue to get 50% of that, and you're supposed to. But I'll, let's break even. It's yours because you are the man and you are in the position of you moved out. You do got to start over, get your own place. This is, we both going through the same emotional distress, but I know as fair, I'm just a fair person. I know it'd be easier for me to bounce back. So why be so nasty and be like, yeah, take, because the, the channel could have got took 100%. Mm. The way YouTube set up is if it's me and you a couple and Jay and Amy got a video, Jay, you will claim that video is yours, and then I'll claim it is mine. YouTube looks at it and says, that's for sure his face. They're going to ask for your ID. That's his face. Give us your ID, Amy. That's for sure her. Whose is it? I'm naturally going to say, well, it's mine. Being pet, it's mine. And what you going to say is mine. Guess what YouTube do? Throw the whole channel away. It's neither one of y'all. I could have did that, but you know what? Why? That's, that's crazy. <laughs> I'll, I'll start over, and the Gemini in me, I like a challenge. I'm finna get them 400,000 subscribers too. But technically, you know, you, you've been doing YouTube for three years. You know this now. Yeah. The subscribers really don't mean nothing. You know that. Listen, my first check from YouTube just came. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know the subscribers <laughs> don't matter. Bitch had two videos. That's why. You I, know that. Yeah. Yo, so. Damn, man, I feel like. I, 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 um. Scrap, I had an interview with Scrappy in Trillville, and I gave him some cupcakes. I found them in the kitchen. I was about to say, where are my cupcakes? Did I, you do you make cupcakes? No, no, no. Okay, so I, I was found, really finna I, I found away. them in the kitchen, but I was going to say is like, I, like I, one of my favorite podcasts is Drink Champs. I always give them their flowers, but what they do is they always give flowers to like- Is Drink think. Champs at Live Hip Hop Daily? No, I don't know. Well, I mean, so I don't really know. Yeah, yeah. About that okay, like that. I'm thinking of Murphy Lee. Who did nah, you say? Drink Champs is uh, Noriega. DJ Got it. FN, so That's they in Miami. There. Okay, yeah. I get it. So they always give flowers to people they think deserve flowers. 
what I was gonna say is if I had some cupcakes, I would you would be somebody that get cupcakes because I appreciate that for real. You for real. and Mozzie. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna be fuck it. Fuck that shit. God is crazy. And I think I, I'm dumb about it, so I'm a little Am tipsy. I? No. Not even there. Uh you crazy. Not as even hell. Here, not even close. This guy is crazy. Watch Listen, that. I'm so consistent in what I do. Mm -hmm. God, bro, God is real. I know you probably ain't the most religious, but I'm spiritual. Let I'm me, spiritual. That's why me, I'm not religious. Let me show you something. Let show me, me. Let me show you something. Show me. Let me tell you, God got my back all the time. I'm gonna show you this shit. Watch this. Look how look how God worked. We we can't we know who platform bigger respectfully. Yeah. Like, this is just respectfully. Yeah. I don't stop. I don't stop. You only had to read it. Just 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 search. Just 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 scroll. You can just swipe. Just scroll down. If you want to read it, you can read it. But just scroll. It's probably what. But just just keep going. You can just go. You could really just tap it and let it go. That's how far it go down. I didn't know you could tap it and it just. No, go. I'm saying like just. Oh. You see? <gasps> No. Let me tell you how I'm just saying. And I ain't mad because I still would take the interview. But facts. I'm just saying God always works in my favor. Yeah. I it will to continue to. I say if you intentional and you in the right space, you will continue to. I say to say, I've been watching you, y'all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And because what happened is you guys really gave that growth, that adult yeah. vibe, like respect to De'Ara and Kim, like they've been, they the goats of this shit. They've been doing it for a minute, yeah, yeah. But you guys were like that, you were grown. Yeah, it's like, it was like the other side, once you get over the other side yeah, of the it bullshit. Was like, not saying they wasn't grown, but you guys yeah. came in grown like, that's what we be going like. Right, facts. You feel me? So facts. I would've definitely gave you Rose. I appreciate you again, man. What What's going on with, Question, first of all. Rich Bitch Energy, the single. Make sure y'all stream it. You know okay, I'm about listen. to go there. You know I'm oh, about hey, to go there. Hey, 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 yo. hey. I know I've been talking my shit. I'm going to signing to somebody, but just, let's just say. Yo, do you, you, what's, what do you prefer to do, rap or sing? Let me tell you, I like doing both, but rapping is so much easier because I don't write. So with R&B, I write it. It's the thought, it's the emotions. But rap, I can just come on out, just talk that shit. I've been doing it since fucking seventh grade. So it's easier and it's quicker money because it's like, if I can go in here and do all these features fast versus R&B, I'm going where the money is can fast. I, can I rap. say respectfully? Yeah. That rapping shit is you. Respectfully. It's, and it's time for that. Respectfully. And it's time for that. Like, that rapping shit, I, I, like, I, I listen to a couple songs and I'm like, damn, yeah. this is cool. And I never met a ghostwriter. Mm -mm. Never met one. I mean, yeah, here. you can get one if you want. Never met them. <laughs> never met one. Don't even know who the ghostwriters are in the city. Miles ain't help you with no couple raps. No. Nope. Ah. For real. Oh, uh, he he'd be in the studio and he'd, Lou, you fucking them bitches up. I'm like, yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I know, nigga. He he'll do he'll do his thing, but. I'd be like, nah, I don't need you to tell me what to say. Mm. Just be hyped, because that hypeness will make me go crazy, so. What you doing, in the midst of all this, like, what you, like, what you focused on? Like, what are you working on? So, I am, I just got my first gig at BT. Congratulations. I don't even know with them, am I allowed to talk about it? They didn't tell me I wasn't, but just, I'll be in L.A., Mm. end of June, June 22nd to the 29th. I got my first. And when I say this is my first big gig, I mean big gig because I've always, to me, done a lot of small things that kind of if you add the six up, it seems big, but it's the one alone Dang. that's big. All the six together, there's one. And that's just, that's God. So mm. I got my first big gig and I, um, yeah. So, yo, I, yeah, last four. I'm sorry. We gotta go back to it. Last four years been relationships. So yeah. last five. Be honest. I know it's only been like a week or two, maybe. It's like three and five a half. Weeks. It's yeah. Four weeks. Yeah. Four weeks. Four real weeks. It's been six weeks, but it's okay. Been four real ones. So let's say <laughs> the last four weeks, right? Yeah. You've been turning up. You don't be feeling an ounce of like. What's the word?
You don't feel an ounce of like, fuck. It's what is the it? Bel-Air. Shit. I need to catch up. You got to catch up. What's the damn word? Not regret, but you know, like when you. Rem- uh, not remorse. It's something um, like that, but it's like, um, yeah, it's, it's uh, like they call it not bias remorse, but I don't know. Fuck it. You know, I also, you don't feel like, damn, like you feel bad for turning up alone. Yeah. Y'all could have did it together. Uh, Every day. I don't know the word. Somebody going to drop the word. In the Every comments. day. I just got a huge opportunity, like I say, for, um, I just got a huge opportunity and naturally it's like, I wish she was here with me. Mozzie's supposed to be here. Mozzie is, was, is the best person mm. when something good come for me. It's like it happened for him. Lou, fuck that. He That's that lie. Scorpio shit. Yeah. That's so naturally I do feel it. And it's, it don't now make you feel bad almost. It very much. And I, I want to call and be like, hey, I'm going to LA. I got to, but it's sad. That's why I say when I say I'm not well, I mean in the terms of I can't even be happy. Life <laughs> is going on, but it's not going on how I wanted mm. want it to. Mm, mm, mm. But that bitch is going on. So Man. naturally, when it looked like, oh, you turning up, you having a good time. Life is going on. You have no If idea. I have this contract, you think they want me to be here? Like, <laughs> life goes on. It just ain't going on how I want it to go on. But you understand that it has to go on. Mm, mm, mm. It has to, and that's the depressing part when you are in a situation where life must go on, not how you want it to, but you got to smile like it's going how you want it to. It's very depressing, but at the end of the day, what I say, life goes on. Yo, you got to keep fucking going. I wish you much success. Um, shit, I'm going to say it just like everybody else is going to say it. I hope y'all get back together. I don't care. I want y'all to get back together. Hopefully y'all can work things things out. Um, hopefully next time I can have both of y'all. Yeah, so I can, I can respect talk that. Shit about Mozzie, like nigga. Yeah, I can't wait to have him because I know he gonna see it. You're like, Ooh. yeah. I love conversations like that. I feel it. <laughs> I'm a nigga. I hope I, that's. Uh, you know what? I can't even say. I hope we get back together. I hope that. It's so weird. Just say it, Amy. Just say it. I hope we get back together. Just say just call him. Fuck it. Just do it on my show. Just do it. Just do it. Just call him and say I love you. So run my shit up. You know how y'all be running your just run my shit up. <laughs> <laughs> run my shit up. Just call him so I can put in the title Amy calls my G. Just run my shit up. Go ahead. Just say my We're G. not enemies. You know what? You know how I said if you keep living, you just keep learning how to live and learning how to love. Four weeks ago, I felt a strong hate from him to me. Now you just unblocked him. Now, I think weeks later, the new conversation through DM, because we haven't talked on the phone. Be the bigger person right now and call him. I don't have his number to call him on God. Be the bigger person at Instagram FaceTime. I can't. Be the bigger person. You can't, you can't FaceTime people with verifications. You can't? At all. I can Mm-mm. Wait, what? You can. Yeah, you can. It's right here. Yeah, you can do it. <laughs> Fuck you, man. This fucking asshole. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I ended it, but uh, be the bigger He's person. About to call you. Be the bigger person. I didn't think you could do that. No, on everything. no I ain't know why. Is I it from Blue Check to Blue Check? Yeah, oh, no, no. I don't have no Blue Check. Be the, be the bigger person and FaceTime. Oh, God. Be the bigger person and FaceTime right now, so I love you. Be the bigger person. No, because I don't want to make it torturous. I don't okay. want to make oh, yeah, it seem yeah, like right. playing right. games. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, right. 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 I, don't want I know he really loved me and I love him, but the space we in, it would be like, what are you doing? Like, what do you want? Do you not? I understand. Yeah. I understand. I understand. And he don't, he don't deserve that. I don't deserve that shit. Well, I hope, I hope y'all get back together. Um, what, at, at what point? We talking, talking. At what point? <laughs> it is what it is. Come on, friend. <laughs> at what, at what point do you? Look, not look at it and say, yo, like, that's just him, and I got to accept that. When him being him doesn't affect me in a negative way. But if you work, just, if if you do what you're doing, you save your money, it can affect you. If you just do your thing, and not do your thing as, like, you're not together, but, you know, like, okay, I'm going to save, this is what I'm going to do. Yeah. This is the things I like, and I'm going to do that for me. Cause I, that's what I want to do, and right. if you don't want to do that, I accept it. Hmm. 
That's interesting. I never, I never honestly looked at it from that way. So are you saying that the things I would want him to be in a companion, if he's like, this is me, this is, you, if I just like get up, hey. You be it in yourself. Because in order for us to love somebody else, we got to love ourselves first, right? It right. sounds cliche. It is cliche, but it is real. Right. And I, you know what I think? Just getting your response from what you said, I think it might be a, a woman thing. And it's okay. Because as a man, my job is to protect the house. As a man. Right. So when I'm like, man, I want to save my girl, might not. I'm thinking like, man, it's just a man thing. I got to I gotta make sure. So if she wants spurs, what I might have to do is get three jobs. So she can have fun and I still can save. But now I'm accepting mm. her for who she is. Okay. If that's, if, for who she is, if you want to do that. But as a man, it's like. What if you want better for the person? You know they better than that. You know how conflicting that is? It's conflicting, but honestly, that ain't really my. It ain't your business. Like, I want business. better for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, my business is to make sure, as a man, that's why I say it might be different. Because as a man, my business is to make sure the house is taken care of. Right. Right? So, okay, I'm going to make sure the house is taken care of. And if you might miss some hair or nails, that's on you. And if you don't love me for not being able to, understandable, but I'm going to make sure this crib taken care of. You know what I'm saying? But as a, as a, as a nigga, I ain't gonna lie, I'm in Atlanta. Niggas are getting money out here. So I need to make sure my bitch getting the hair and nails done too. So all right, so I might have to get two, three jobs. Cause I know there's another nigga out there. That's, I'm right. just being real. I'm, a, I'm just keeping it hundred. So that's me. But I say that to say I'm still accepting her for who she is who she is. Do you think it would be bothering you? Yeah, but I'm nigga. And, I mean, I mean I, it bothers when you me. accept it, yes. It didn't turn off what you wanted. It bothers me, yeah. But can you be bothered every day? So, and it's do, not and, every day though. So, it's oh, not, okay. So it, it bothers me for sure when it happens, but it's not every day. And what I will say is, I would rather take what I have from you, right, than start over and not get that from somebody else, right. And that's what I'm asking. Like, do you think you could just be like, and I ain't trying to play Doctor Phil or nothing, but I'm just curious. Do you think you could you could look at it, reevaluate, and be like, you know what? I need to focus on me and be me, and I need to love you for who you are. Because who you are is why I'm here. And I accept that. I've never experienced that or done that. For real? I, I, I haven't. Damn. So I don't know. I haven't even explored it enough to know if it, to think about it, if it will work, would that work? For real? Yeah. Damn. That's crazy. I I would think you would have thought of that. Mm -mm. No. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna lie, like, me and my girl bump is. But I had to come to one and I think and I can I think I can say this openly. And I can say that she's came to the point where she had to accept me for who I am. It's some shit I do she don't like. Some shit she do I don't like. But that that's normal. That's normal. Listen. This, this this is beyond just I don't like that. Let me see. Name you can't me. do it. Ain't no name. I'm sorry. Are we gonna talk? We're gonna talk. Yeah. You can't do it because at the end of the day, you don't like that he don't save as much as you or he's not responsible. Whatever you don't like, it's still something that's a part of him, who he is. So it it, it don't matter how big or small, it don't, yeah, he don't like to save, but it ain't as the, it's not the same as him liking teddy bears and I don't like teddy bears. Right. The same at the end of the day. It's something that he is who he is, and you don't like a part of that. But yeah. at, the, at the very end of the day is, he was able to do something to make you happy, and not everybody can do that. Because like you said, and I'm not just playing his side, because you saw- No, nigga, I don't think you, you are. You saw the DM. I don't think you I are. I could play if I wanted, but I would never do that. I'm being real. At the end of the day, like you said, I don't know how old you are, but your entire grown up life on this earth, you've never been faithful to some to somebody, especially like you did to him. Right. So it's something in him that's worth it, right? Right. So what I'm saying is, I'm, again, I'm not trying to force you into nothing that you. I'm not trying to do that. I promise. No, thanks. God just speaking to me. I is weird, weird, but whatever. It's something in him that touch you differently than other people touch you, and if it's something that touch you differently, I think it's worth saying. You know what? I'm going to put my pride to the side. This ain't you, but I love who is you. Right. I love who you are. You know what I'm saying? I love the part about you that is you. 
yeah, this get on my fucking nerves, and we about to get married, and you gonna fuck up my debt, but let's do this. Cool. Let's rewind. Get your debt together. So, cause what, what you ain't gonna do is fuck up what I got going on. Mm-hmm. Get your shit together. What if, a, what if a person been saying that for years though? Should I, I gotta be real? I don't wanna be real. I gotta be real. Always with me. All right. It's cool saying it for years. Some people don't know how to. And if you love them. So I could be saying it wrong. Because you see how we get it? It's something in us. Gemini, like, fuck the Zodiac sign. But yeah. That does matter. It's a way in communication that we communicate with each other that we get it. Right. You get what I'm saying? And it's a way that we communicate to other people that just don't understand this. And that's not their fault. But what's real is how they make us feel. Like, I'm not the most, as much as we can talk, I'm not the most, like, empathetic. And, like, my girl will tell me, like, things that's sad. And I don't know how to, like, respond. And I hear friends talk to her, like, yeah, bitch, da-da-da. And she feels so great. And I be like, damn. Yeah. Oh, fuck, I can't give you them words. But that's just not me. Facts. And she got to accept me. for. And, and I know yeah. it hurt in those moments. Like, your grandma passing. And your friends can call you and say the right words to make you feel good. And, and you, you you're not good at, with that. You can't even look at your man to do that. Bro, I was sitting next to an Asian girl on a bench the other yesterday, I swear to God. She sat, she, random chick, she sat next to me and she said, her best friend died. Mm. I mean, her best friend got in an accident and she thinks she's going to pass. Swear to God in my life, I text my girl, I say, yo, I feel so bad. I don't even know what to say. My girl, like, I would just give her a hug. I'm like, hell no, I can't do that. I'm a man. She, you know what I'm saying? You can. But. Nah, like in our society, you know what I'm saying, today, I'm just I think scared. if I start crying right now, you would actually give me a hug. I probably would give you a hug because we've been talking to then yeah. you black. I'm not going to be real. I'm, I'm being real. I'm just being honest. I'm being honest. And I'm being <laughs> yeah. honest. Like, I don't know. I'm just saying, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? She looked yeah. a little young. I'm oh, yeah. Scared. Nah, now I get You know what I'm saying? But, I I, get but, but anyway, I say that to say, I don't even know what to say in these moments, even to my girl. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like, I can only imagine how she feels. It's like, man, I could turn to my friend. And it is. Get, so she might feel like you're just not emotionally not even there. But like, I am. It's just, I don't know. You just saying your personality doesn't connect emotionally when somebody isn't how you want it to you be. You feel me? Yeah. But I say all that to say, she accept me for that. And I ended some things that she do that I don't agree with. And I'm saying, if, to answer your question, you've been saying it for years. Maybe it's, maybe we got to stop saying it and show. You know what I'm saying? Like, show how. Put put in position. I know you the woman, but maybe, all right, cool. I'm going to put you in position to save some bread. I'm up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm going to set up play so you ain't got no choice to win. Yeah. Because if you win, we win. It ain't if you win, you win. If you win, we win. All right, bet. So let me do this. I'm going to put this in position so, boom, now we win. Right. Yeah. And, again, I'm not trying to, like, force you to, like. No, I, I love a perspective conversation, like. I promise you, I listen. I listen to a stranger. I listen to I a believe. homeless person. I'm, I literally am listening, and I get it. I promise you. Like I'm processing it. I just know, like it's all. It's one of them things you had to be there to know. You had to be there. When I, was, I'm not. You had to be there, Amy. I can turn this shit out right now, bro. When I tell you. I don't think nobody else, besides the fame, besides the views and the likes and the number and the Instagram followers, when I tell you, I think I get it more than you think. Tra- you listen, listen, bro. And I'm being very respectful of my relationship because, like, we, but we talk about it because we got the podcast. But, yeah. like, bro, we done been through some shit. We ain't belong. We ain't supposed to be in, bro. Like, two people that call each other friends, let alone lovers. We didn't been in some shit we should have never even touched, bro. Like, I mean, we should have never even straggled the line to be there. Right. So when I say I get it, I'm just saying, like, yo, I feel like, yo, he did, he was, he was somebody to you that some that nobody was. And that means a lot. You met so many. Think about all the people you met in your life. He was somebody to you. You know, we a big personality. He was somebody yeah. to you that nope. You said you met this nigga passing out CDs. You know what I mean? Niggas pass out CDs. Right. I, mean, I nigga, hate niggas giving me CDs. You know how many niggas pass out CDs? He was somebody to you mm. that nobody, bro. I wanted to talk about this. I feel like a part of it be niggas move too fast. Yeah. 
Yeah. Second night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did it second night. Yeah. And my girl, I'll be saying the same time. I, first time you came over, I smashed. She'd be like, but it wasn't the first night. Whatever. Yeah. I say, we That's said, why I tell them to a nigga, it wasn't the first night. We don't, it's so bad that me and my girl, we don't, have, we don't really have a real um, anniversary. Because it was like the first time, like, First day, y'all remind that's crazy. When, when you say this is like twin flame when I shit. When I tell you I understand, I'm not just making this yeah. up. Like, bro, and, and I just found that out from doing research. Like, literally, that that you the first night he went to sleep, you he was like, but you weren't doing it because you crossed it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, yeah, you knew what you, you was want, doing. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I, like, I just found that out. Right. Like, ain't nothing I, that I, y'all was on YouTube. I just found that out. Right. So when I say I get it, I get it. I think a part of it is, you know, we ain't never really, we don't really take the time. And I think as a black culture, we need to do that more. Take time to get to know people. That's it. Friends. You know what I'm saying? But you've been here now. And he has something it's to stick around. Deep, yeah. I mean, I'm just when saying. I say it was so fast. I believe. It was, like, this is like, <laughs> my mom, even when she talked about it today, she was like, when you came to my house <laughs> and was like, I met somebody, I'm like, Hanging up the coat, I'm in it. My mom did not believe. I'm my mama only. I have no, my mama only child with no kids, only one, mm. only one with a passport. I always been on it. My mom said you was only you didn't pay with baby dolls as a kid. You you was just awkward. Like we, I always was like, if I'm alone, I can move faster. Mm. I want to go here three weeks in a row. I don't have to tell somebody. I don't have nobody to tell me like you was just where so and so in Miami. You just went to fucking Bahamas. So I always say I'm gonna do it alone. But it was like met him for whatever reason. I already know why. But it was like this is scary. I I would actually commit, but fuck just committing. I would actually be faithful. Mm. I would actually be, and I'm not saying faithful and no ratchet shit like. This dude thought I was faithful on this one. It was always like, I'm just single Amy. You just know what it could be. It could be no, I get it. whatever. A single person literally living the fruits single of a life. single life. Yeah. Not no cap shit. Oh, he think I'm his girlfriend? No, really single. We know Whereas, what's up, man. All that honest. shit hit the blogs. It was three of them. I was like, I'm glad you don't go over here to interview this one because this is the one y'all missed. <laughs> y'all talking about him in Atlanta. I always been on that. So how everything happened, all I can say is like, I knew it had to be for a reason. I know all this is for a reason. Like, and do you know it's okay on this day to not know what? Where you gonna go? To, you, yeah. I think that's the cool part about it. It's almost like I don't know, but I just know for right now. And that's okay too. That's okay too. And I, I think really what I'm saying is just like you know, where we seen our parents go through way worse. We ain't trying to way be worse. That. We ain't trying to be that. But at the same time, cause we supposed this, to be a little better and a little more. But this ain't really that though. It ain't. That's what I'm really saying. Like, bro, we that's why I can't just go in too deep and da da da. da. I, yeah. I can't. I can't fix my lips to be like fuck, nigga. Da da da. I I would not be me a real. I'm I'm probably like the, one of the realest you would meet. I wouldn't be me if I could get on here despite him doing A, B, and C. I didn't appreciate a couple tweets. I didn't appreciate you changing the YouTube path. All I didn't appreciate that. But I could never be like, fuck, nigga. You di I, I literally can't. Right. And if I did, everybody around me would be like, you's a fake bitch. You yeah. lying. So on the surface, it's not that bad. But on the bigger scale, I drank some of that too. Why are you acting like you drank that whole bottle? You ain't drink none of this. None of it. We even. <laughs> How we even? Hold your shit up. <laughs> now, get Nowhere near. I didn't expect that. Let yeah. me see how much in there. A lot. You saw it on camera anyway. I, I think, you know what's funny about this whole thing? Because some people would de definitely disagree. I think some sacrifices is worth the greater good. And what I mean yeah. by that is like, yo, when we talk about family, I don't know how to white, white people live. I don't know. I, yeah. mean, I can assume. I though. don't either. I just feel like, yo, we are so self-righteous as black people. It's like, and, and, and I feel like some people will say you should Oh, I agree. You know what I'm saying? We are so self-righteous and it's like, yo, nah, me first. I love me, I'ma love me regardless and, and that's good. But I'm a nigga that's thinking about past all this. Past, yeah. Fuck, all, fuck me 
I'm thinking about family. I'm thinking about generations. I opened the interview saying, we can't ignore the power of a couple. Right. We can't ignore that. Right. We can't ignore that. So yeah, he probably ain't had a he probably ain't had a uh, the money, but we built this together. You know what I'm saying? Granted, you put you put that work in too. Don't get it fucked up, and you made some responsibilities and some sacrifices to get where you at. Major ones. I'm never. I'm never. A lot when of say, silent that I have. Uh, when I say all this, that but I, did I say anything that I'm never? Yeah. I'm never. I'm. I'm I get it. Cause I was gonna tell you, although I say a lot, I promise you, I've I've you always say, only said forty percent. I get it because the other sixty percent, I ain't trying to get you so attacked I, that I, get I don't it. want that. I get it, but what I'm saying is, when you when I say I understand, bro, it was times where I'm like, yo, this is yeah, and this is, and I ain't letting you. To be honest, though, it's gonna sound fucked up. That shit go out the window when it's us, bro. And I had to learn it. I'm not going to lie. Like, I made some mistakes, bro, and I done made the same mistakes. And I thought, what happened was, I done made some mistakes. I get with my shorty. I'm like, man, I just did this dumb ass shit with my last relationship, and it fucked me up. Mm. I ain't about to go back there again. I ain't doing this shit again. Yeah. Once you step out there, you out there, though. I can't, I can't hold that over your head. Right. I can't, you know what I'm saying? And it's wrong for me too. Yeah. And once you make that decision, it's y'all. You know, that's all. I, I, again, I ain't trying to be Dr. Phil, no preacher. Nothing. No, I swear to God, I'm loving that perspective. I think that too, like, sometimes people be more so like, why is this happening? It's almost like I'm the person saying, why not this happen to me? Fuck, why is it happening? Why shouldn't it happen? Mm-hmm. So even in such a sad situation, I promise you, like, and I believe that my timeline here is going to be so much bigger than what people think, as well as with Mozzie, that if we never get back together, if it never, I swear to goodness, it's something so weird about us that I know, like, it's going to trip us out when we figure it out. I don't know what it's going to be. That's why I said I came early on, I said, I, I I never looked at nobody and said, I'd never get back with that nigga. I never never said it. I, I said for for right for today, for whatever reason on this puzzle that we put in together, for whatever reason, we had these good fucking three years and the last two years been so bad and so silent. Like this is what's going on. They don't know this shit. I wanna tell y'all, I wanna tell y'all, but Keep it. I was kind of trained to be like, it's going to get better. Right. I love you so much, it's going to get better. For whatever reasons, I do believe that it's going to be a greater reason. I, but I just hope that it's a greater reason for him and me. I don't want it to just be for me. Because I, although he didn't do everything right, he did a lot when of I needed him to be my fucking fr- a fuck the, you didn't do everything right relationship as the companion. But I can tell you this. That's why I said, you, nobody can you can't talk I done checked a few people in the last three don't talk you don't you can't don't talk about him to me like that the fuck is wrong with you one thing he did do right he was I all he was always my friend in the corner I don't give a fuck I got in a situation with bitches we were finna bang it out you think Mozzie wasn't saying I don't want to do it but if that motherfucker run up when you and her get down I'm finna knock that hoe out we with me and we, done, we ain't, shit that ain't made the camera shit that been up. like how much delete that we in the mall how much I, said, yeah, I don't know what you, I cheap shit I give you three hundred delete it okay delete let me see it delete it we done been there shit that ain't make the internet and Mize be right there like it's off what run up on Lulu right now so I could say for the friend the best is the what it was supposed to be but on the companion side that's the hurtful part. Maybe you didn't get the tools to see it because you didn't have that either. And I didn't either. So you didn't have the tools to be the companion. But somehow you mastered being the fucking best friend. Do, can I be your best friend? We didn't. You just on it. If you don't mind. You, like, that's crazy. I, this is a sick, because you a Gemini. You, I hate to keep saying it. Your brain is. We, we been. Your brain is partially. We said it a lot. <laughs> listen, <laughs> but it is it's partially matters, built though. on some sick shit because it's it, real. It matters though, if I could be it. like Mozzie is will be my best friend right now. I would call him about the BET opportunity. I would call him about this. I would call him about this. About this, 
If I could do that and it would be healthy, it would be too unhealthy because we was too in love. But if I could, that'd be my best friend. I'd be like, best friend, we going to the movies. What you got going on with that? But it's, that's not, because the, the friend part of it, I literally never had a friend like Mozzie from a female or a nigga. And that's why I say I think it's worth it. Look, this is what I'm going to say. If, hypothetically, y'all do get back together, and if something from this conversation sparks it, I just I just need my my my, my give my shout out on the back end. A wedding invite. Yeah, but just give my shout out on the back end. On the back end, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give it on the front end. You feel me? And hypothetically, God, hopefully not. If we ever go through some shit, I want be I want you to be that same friend of me. Be like, yo, always. And that's why we and you met. Yeah, it's crazy. This shit is crazy. I'm not even big on energy and shit like that, but this. Mm-hmm. It's fucking crazy. I um, I wish y'all the best, bro. I, uh, I'm so I'm I'm so appreciative and thankful that you sat down and had this conversation. And I, I wanted hope to y'all work out, bro. If y'all yeah. do, bro, just just know. Do you hope we work out as friends though, too? For sure. Okay, nigga, that's first. Because I feel like you leaning more towards like I hope y'all get back together. I but you know, the friend. The, no, pro- I want y'all get back together, but the friendship just make it crazy. But y'all, y'all already had that, like you said. Yeah. So that ain't really the problem. It's the companionship. Right. Yeah. yeah, the friendship ain't shit. That's easy. Yeah, y'all could get that tomorrow. It's crazy. I had just tweeted recently. I said, in a little while longer, like later down, you got to meet me again. Yeah, because I feel like that would be, and I feel like that was his words, but I kind of felt it, so I tweeted it secretly for both of us. Mm. I don't even know if he he don't, I don't know if he felt that way, but I said it because I do feel like Mike can meet again. I know they mad at us for keep saying this, but at the end of the day, you're a Gemini. Yeah. And you, <laughs> you, it's just, you're going to be yeah. successful. You're going to work because, like, it's just, it's just. It's in, it's in, it's in the blood. It's in the. I'm sorry. It's in the crazy brain. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's dude. like, you think I'm a lose? I'm just saying. I'm going to show you 10 times over. Who yeah. is Gemini? Tupac? Tupac, Marilyn Monroe. Lord, you got Kanye. Lord, uh, you got. Lauren London. Lauren London. You got. I'm not Lauren London. I, I said Lauren. Oh, All I know I is Tupac, say, Marilyn Monroe. I know fucking Lauren Kanye. Hill. Not Lauren. Lauren Hill. Lauren Hill. Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar. Lamar Amy was, Luciani. Biggie wasn't a, Biggie J. Wasn't a Gemini. Nope, he wasn't a Gemini. Yeah. It was Pac, though. It was Pac. I mean, some greats. A lot of, but let me tell you, it was a lot of greats that were willing to push the envelope. But they weren't pushing the envelope for clout weird shit like today. They gonna kill they me. They was pushing it for was I really feel this way and I'm willing for y'all to kill me over this they shit. They gonna kill me for this Donald Trump. Is he a Gemini? Yeah. I did not know Donald Trump was a Gemini. <laughs> Donnie a Gemini? That damn Donnie mouth done. Now Donnie. I'm just, what they say. I get that he will push the envelope, but you will tra- he was trying me sometimes. But I'm just saying they say I'd rather have a de- what they say. I. I'd rather have somebody that I know who, like, he he spoke what he felt. Yeah. And he, and you don't have to worry about when he walk away saying, I ain't really feel exactly. that way. Nigga, I felt that you way. You got niggas lying and giving us it's promises. It's somebody else that is so important, I cannot think. So many. Morgan Freeman is, but I'm telling you, it's a music artist. I don't know if I, well, I almost want to say Lamar. Prince. Ooh. I almost want to say Prince. He might have been. Can we Google that? Could you check? Can we do a because fact check? Because it wasn't Michael Jackson for sure. I want to say Prince. Who was it? Prince played over 15 instruments. That means you got to know musically, most people who can play a guitar and a piano can't play certain things because it's a tone. It's tone. You get tone deaf. I play guitar a little and piano. I can't play certain instruments. But that nigga to pay all of them, do you know the depth that that brain went? All I'm saying is, that's why when I say you're a Gemini, and all the Geminis I know, they work, they work hard as fuck. So I know you're going to be successful. My only thing is, you too. I just hope you can get out your whisper this. You can get out your way a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Stand on the sideline. Just get out your get out your own way a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. Get that. Somebody shit. else just told me that too. Get that shit. Nah, I, um, again, I said it a million times. Thank you, Amy Luciani. Fucking fire. We talked for two hours. Was it two? We ain't never. We ain't, I ain't, we ain't never do this. We ain't never do this. We talked for two hours. Gangster. And it was a good conversation. Gangster. I'd be so, I, listen, when the conversation gets too weird, I was just on a radio. I was like, dude. Gangster. Can you follow me back, though? I'm gonna like, say, can you, can you follow me back, though? Weird and boring. Oh, no, you already following me. 
Just yeah. like, don't, don't do that. Don't do, him, do not do that. Yeah. Do not do that. <laughs> Tell him, T. <laughs> and it wrapped up just in time for me to have to pee because you know that Bel Air sit on that black yeah, turn. Not, listen, that's why you need a girl on your fucking team. The one, though. And she acted nice, but you a pit bull. She said, on no, she didn't. Team. Yeah, T. I got a pee bad, um, too. Let them know, uh, follow you, how to support you all. And listen, stream Rich Bitch Energy. Stream Rich Bitch Energy one more time. Stream Rich Bitch Energy and the video was coming. Okay, and after you stream it, stream it again and tell your friend to stream it. And listen, just watch out for me. Listen, watch out for me. Pray for me. Meditate for me. And just know it's up, up, up in a way. Follow the new YouTube channel. That's Amy's World. Amy's World, obviously. And shout out to Jay Hill. I appreciate you for having me. It's all in. Gang, gang. Jay Hill. Gang, 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 gang. gang, gang. Oh, yeah. Follow me on Amy Luciani World. What am I talking about? Come on, dog. Hello. One hand on else to say is rap. We out. <laughs>